Hey guys, back to the channel. Today we're going to be looking at some new stuff coming to Prodigy, so let's get into the video. Alright, so the leaks that we have for Dragon Isle, the Fire Gear, and the Starlet Festival gear, that stuff is in-game. So we are going to go ahead and check that out. So first off, we are going to be looking at a new pet that is going to be coming into the game. Um, I can't remember its exact name, but here it is right here, Draboon. So this is going to be in the evolution of... Um, Gore Shadow, so Draboon is probably the second evolution in the chain, and this is what it's going to look like. So its health is going to be 1,379, power of 1,125, dodge of 1,089, defense of 726, and order of 63. So its spells are going to be Multi-Shade, um, Fracture, Storm Shadow, and Salve Dark, I th or Salve Darkness, I think this might be a new spell, I haven't heard of it before. So, that is, those are the new spells, and then here's the attack animation for it, so, I kind of already have shown this in a different video, but yeah, if you haven't seen it, that is what it's going to look like. So, we also have some new gear that is going to be coming so so if we go down here you can see that there's the fire drake hat and the inferno worm helm so the fire drake hat is going to look like this when you're wearing it it's going to have a heart bonus of 260 and it says this fancy hat projects protects against fire breath as well as lava during volcanic eruptions so i think this one looks pretty nice we also have the inferno worm helm which has a heart bonus of 275, and it says this impressive helm once belonged to a legendary Dragon Knight who befriended the most ancient Inferno Worms. So those are the two helmets that we're going to be getting. We're also going to be getting some outfits. Um, there are a couple for Starlight Festival as well. So we have the Fire Drake Mail up here, which has a defense bonus of 260, and says this armor was tamp was tempered in the magma lakes used by the fire drakes as their secret bathing pools so i don't think this one looks too great the at least style for it and then this is the other one which says an ancient worm an ancient worm's fire breath captured in a flame crystal powered this exquisite armor and this has a defense bonus of 275 i like this one a lot better than the other one we also have the cosmic suit which is going to be um part of the cosmic set i'm guessing and this says the alien technology used to make this suit allows the wearer to enter wormholes in space and this is going to have a defense bonus of 255. um i assume since we're getting the cosmic suit we should be getting the full cosmic set inside of the starlight festival that's coming soon um now we also have the galactic armor right here which has a defense bonus of 255 as well, and it says special armor designed for the rugged work of mining asteroids in deep space. So this one I don't think looks too cool. Now moving on to wands, we have a pretty good amount of them because we have all the Starlight Festival wands. Um, but first off, we have the Fire Drake Staff up here, which is going to do Blaze, has a power bonus of 260, and says a burning flame sapphire taken from a fire drake's treasure trove sits at the tip of this powerful fire staff now we also have the inferno worm blade which has a power bonus of 275 its spell will be inferno and it says the magma tooth of an ancient inferno worm is the base of this searing blade so those are the two wands that are going to become for dragon isle and now we also have the starlight festival ones like the Arius dark wand which uh, shadow Blast, power bonus of 150, and it says this shadow infused staff draws the draws on the power of ramps and their inscrutable and strange nature. That's kind of a weird sentence. We also have Taurus Dark Wand, which says the Taurus Dark Wand channels the bull's anger and explosive strength. This has a power bonus of 175, and it does Shadow Storm. We also have the Cancer Dark Wand, which does grim burst has a power bonus of 205 and says the shadow magic in this one draws its power from the depths of the ocean where certain crabs live now moving on to the last nine 
We have the Gemini Dark Wand, which does Dark Portal, has a power bonus of 190, and says the dark magics of this wand are greatly amplified when used in pairs, especially when wielded by twins. So that kind of looked animated. I assume it's not. Actually, I think that might just be an illusion. But now we have the Leo Dark Wand, which um, has a power bonus of 220. It does Spike Strike, and it says the Leo Dark Wand draws its power from the lion's power during nighttime ambushes. Um, next, we have the Virgo Dark Wand, which has a power bonus of 235. It does Eclipse. And it says this wand draws its power from strangling vines and other plants overwhelming the forest. We also have the Libra Dark Wand, which has a power bonus of 250. It does Umbral Volley. And it says the Libra Dark Wand draws its shadowy powers from inequality and injustice. We have the Scorpio Dark Wand, which does power bonus which does Black Breach, has a power bonus of 265, so this one is actually pretty good. And it says the Deadly Poisonous String of Scorpio powers this Wand of Darkness. We also have the Sagittarius Dark Wand, which has a power bonus of 90, does Shadow Shock, and it says the Sagittarius Dark Wand uses the feeling of loneliness and nothingness to power its spells. Sadly, this one does look the coolest in my opinion, but it's not very good. Um, we also have the Capricorn Dark Wand, which has a power bonus of 105, says, or it does murkiness, and it says this Dark Wand, this Dark Wand draws power from all those lost at sea beneath the towering black waves. We also have the Aquarius Dark Wand, which has a power bonus of 120, it does multi-shade, and it says the shadowy magics in this wand originate from the chaotic and unpredictable nature of water in its liquid form. And then the final wand is the Piscus Dark Wand. I think I said that right. And it says, or, and it has a power bonus of 135. It does darkness. And it says the Piscus Dark Wand draws from all the scary and terrible fish creatures lurking in the dark depths. So those are all the wands that are be going to be coming. We also have a few relics. Um, I need to hack them in though. So we only got two out of the three relics that were leaked. There was a fire dragon isle one that was leaked, but it doesn't look like we're going to get that. But we did get the cosmic relic and the galactic relic. So the cosmic relic is going to do cosmic gateway. And it says the artifact on the relic launches a spell that channels the power of the cosmos. And then we have the Galactic Relic, which does Dark Matter, and it says a Plasma Medallion that harnesses Dark Matter from Deep Space. So those are the two relics. We also do have some boots that we can look at, the Fire Drake Boots and the Inferno Worm Boots. So the Fire Drake Boots do a dodge bonus of 260, and it says the scales used to make these boots let the wearer walk on lava with ease. And then we also have the Inferno Worm Boots, which have a dodge bonus of 275, and say boots to keep your feet safe in the hottest of Infernos. So those are the two boots. We have a few buddies. Um, we have three. And also Ursus Minor, which um, I have no idea where it's going to be in here, but I believe it was updated to be legendary. I think it was epic before but now it should be legendary. Yeah, so here it is, Ursa Minor was updated to be legendary. We can go ahead and take a look at it. So this is what it's going to look like. It also has a dodge bonus of 65 now. Um, I think that was updated to that today. But yeah, that is Ursa Minor. We also have the Fire Wyvernling, which is going to be in Dragon Isle. And this is going to have a power bonus of 50. And it says the most excellent buddy to light candles, warm up toast, or sing singe the backside of unwanted visitors. So we also have Cetus, I think that's how you'd say it. Um, this is a whale. It has a heart bonus of 65. And it says, I hear that there might be whole ponds of these star whales out there somewhere in the galaxy. So we also have Equ 
Wellius, I have no idea how you say that. This has a dodge bonus of 65. This is what it looks like, and it says, The Starry Stallion is a favorite constellation buddy of many a horse aficionado. So, I think this one is pretty cool. I like the Starlight Festival buddies a lot. We also have um, a new throwable, which is the Shadow Ball. Um, it says, used by many shadow pets when pranking others, it leaves a sticky dark mess that will stain even if it's cleaned right away. So, we can go ahead and throw this to see what it looks like. So, it's all the way on the end, and if we throw it, um, it kind of just looks like the green ball, slime ball probably it's called. Um, there were no new currencies, and then we do have a few new mounts, so we have the Star Floater, which has a power bonus of 50, and it says sometimes when a star falls, it becomes an awesome ride. Um, so this one isn't too cool. We also have the Galactic Ride, which is actually surprisingly bad. It only has a heart bonus of 55 and a power bonus of 55. I really wish it was better, because it looks very cool. Um, but this is, it says, Feel the swirl of an entire galaxy beneath your feet. I really like how this one looks. We also have Mini Dragon Isle, which is members only. And it has a heart bonus of 65, power bonus of 60. And it says, many portals and many dragons included. You have ju you just have to squint really hard. Um, you can't really see any portals on this. But then we have the Pocket Rocket as the last mount. It has a heart bonus of 30 and a power bonus of 60. And it says, this giant pocket-sized rocket will get you where you need to go in a blast. So... Those were all the items that were added. I guess I'll go ahead and put on these sets so you guys can see what they look like. So this is what the Fire Drake set is going to look like. This is what the Inferno Worm set is going to look like. I think this one looks pretty good. Here's what the Cosmic set is going to look like now that we finally have a full set for that. And then the Galactic set also got filled out as well, so here is what that's going to look like. So, we also got a few other updates, so if we head over to Firefly Forest, you'll notice that Flora now looks different. Um, I don't think that it's a great change, she kinda looks pretty weird now. Um, she also has some new talk sprites, so these look slightly different, I guess. Um, they were updated to be HD. I guess, yeah, they do look HD now, they aren't pixelated anymore. Florian also got updated, we can't really look at that one. Um, here's what it would like look like if the spine was put together. This is a very bad quality image of it, though. And then here's what it would look like when he's moving. I assume he doesn't have any other. I guess he has a sad one, which looks like this. So this is what he would look like when he's sad. And then here are some of the other faces that you can see for Flora. So this is, like, talking, happy... I have no idea what these expressions are supposed to be. And then here are the ones for Florian. So they were updated to the HD as well. So we also got some stuff for the HUD, which is what the menu bar is getting changed to be. Some of you already have this update. Um, others don't. I don't have it on my accounts, as you've seen. But we have a new chat one right here. This is called HUD Chat, so this is what it will look like. This is where you can, like, say random things like Sparkle Snup or I Love Prodigy or something like that. Then we have HUD Friends, which this is probably going to be where you're able to see your friends list. Right now, they're kind of boring. I think they're just gray icons. Now they actually have, like, real icons. We have HUD Mail, which looks like this. We have HUD settings, which looks like this, and then we have Wizard Watch, which looks like this. Now we did also get a few things in the um, metadata. I don't think any of it's important. I think this one could potentially be important. I think that rather this one is going to mean that you have to be on level 100 to beat the Puppet Master, or it's going to get you to a level, level 100 after you beat the Puppet Master. Um, I'm not really sure on this. There was something else about it um, in the data, um, but I kind of closed out the data. I can pull it up real quick though. So we have this new thing right here which says campaign replay PBF level 100 warning. Defeat the puppet master to level up your wizard. That was like the only thing that was 
relatively interesting. But yeah, nothing else really interesting was added, so that is going to go ahead and end the video. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe, and bye.